Well, a long-running music fest is going silent after nearly two decades. Lots of people are disappointed. Yeah. I'm sure the team behind Pitchfork Music Festival announcing they won't return to Union Park next year. That is where we find Marissa Perlman live learning why Pitchfork is going mute, at least here in Chicago. Good morning, Marissa. Good morning to both of you. Yeah, all signs pointing to dollars and cents this morning. The music festival organizers uh, simply point to the changing festival landscape as the reason why it's leaving. And the alderman here in this ward simply says, well, Pitchfork isn't profitable. That means this, the 19th music festival that took place here in Union Park was the last one here on the West Loop last July, featuring Alanis Morissette and Jamie XX. Now, the show did go on despite layoffs last year at Pitchfork. The festival's parent company and media giant, Condé Nast, which also owns GQ and Vogue, announced staff layoffs earlier in the year. Now, for 19 years, the show has been known for featuring up-and-coming artists. Brian Trober is the founder of Pitchfork Magazine and its former editor-in-chief. When he stepped away in 2019, he says the festival was profitable. So the fact that this that this has happened is um, it's a, it comes as a little bit of a surprise. It was thriving. Um, yeah, has had been a huge success every year since we started it. So um, so, yeah, it was it was it was remained uh, as successful as ever. Now, losing the music and these big crowds here at Union Park won't just impact dedicated concert goers. Some longtime vendors tell us, you know, they'll, this will be a big hit for them, too. In recent years, the event expanded to Paris, London, even Mexico City. No word on whether Pitchfork will stick around in other cities right now. Organizers say in a statement it will continue to produce events in 2025 and beyond. We mentioned the alderman here in this ward, that 27th Ward Alderman Walter Burnett. Uh, he says he's going to try to work with the city to keep Pitchfork here at Union Park. We'll keep you posted on their process. For now, we're live in the West Loop. I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS News Chicago.